Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and I'm back with some more of the University of Maryland Jeopardy Puzzle Hunt. On the screen here is where I'm recording my total amount of time spent on this puzzle hunt. We're currently 2.5 hours in, and I'm about to spend another hour and a half in this video on this puzzle hunt, and that'll put us right at the four hour mark. So let's see how far we make it by that time. Up until this point, I've solved five of the puzzles in this puzzle hunt, and they're colored green here on my list of the answers. And we had just started a crossword puzzle called Triple Threat, which is in one of the tabs down here. Um, I'll open it up as soon as we start our timer, and that's where we're going to be starting today. Okay, we have an hour and a half on the clock, on our marks, get set, let's puzzle. Um, here's about as far as I made it last time. Okay, let's move on, 45 down ready to eat so that's going to be ripe okay so we have somebody's alter ego from watchmen let's see who this is adrian is the alter ego so 73 across is an unknown author for short that's a non pioneer of gothic fiction Anne radcliffe is the swedish pop group abba epitome of easy abc as easy as abc that makes sense. Hat part, brim, keto cutout, uh, carb, I'm in awe, bravo, red or blue for Pokemon, versions, uh, ready to go is probably set, president's nickname could be Abe or Ike, it's a tablet download, ebook, that makes sense. Oh, right. ARMY is the fan group for the band BTS. Okay, so which... Is this a member of BTS that is the most savage and blunt? Uh, S-U-G-A is a person in BTS. Okay. So we're going with that person. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know more about BTS. So if you clean the meat on something, you gut it. T-Rex renderings often? Oh, or CGI. I wonder who this puzzle's honoree is. Triple, th it's a triple threat. Retired number, so it's gotta be eight. And I'm thinking it's an Olympian, uh, some kind of sports player. 71 and 74, a retired number of this puzzle, a different retired number. So it could be like 20 something. Ah, Tuesday is named after the Nordic god, T-Y-R. The Rugrats dad was Stu. I do know the Rugrats. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this is... This retired number is 24. Instructional website is an e-how. Um, okay, good. So we have the bottom right and the top left pretty well set. The top right and bottom left are giving me a little trouble. Let me see if I can get the center here. Question, could be ask. Okay, let's 34 across. Prized stones or gems. Thin white mushroom is an Enoki mushroom. Like an off-center histogram, skewed. All right, so we've now separated the two sections of the grid that we're struggling with, the top right and the bottom left. Oh, I see. Um, so for this one, this 28 across, which was major successes, these are slam dunks. And we have something kind of interesting. Like, I'm noticing a lot of letters going in alphabetical order for these yellow sections. Yeah, I'm still not sure what the yellow sections are. We'll get to it. Yeah, so we're definitely dealing with a basketball player, by the way. Oh, a decorative swimmer is a koi, like a koi fish. Application extension is probably EXE. Party in the USA and Desposito in 50 years. Oldie. Can I now get this 53 across? Assist Slangly. Drop a dime? Yeah, dropping a dime is another basketball term. Um, so earn is 70 across to take in. And so we just need 62 across this inspiration for Virginia Woolf's Orlando. Uh, Orlando is a biography about the novelist Vita Sackville. Okay, so we've successfully filled in the grid at this point. 
Okay, I think I see. So, so this yellow section was number one, this yellow section is number two, and this yellow section is number three. So I'm going to take each of those, and I'm going to just put them side by side up top here. Okay, and we see now if we read across, it spells Black Mamba or Video Game. Uh, snake? This is Triple Threat. Snake is correct. What puzzle do we want to try out next? So let's try to tackle something in this block. Okay, Family Feud looks interesting. We have, we have like six categories around Steve Harvey. And it looks like maybe six categories down here. Yeah, these are like merged um, cells where like the same letter is going to go in this spot for like each row. Okay, I've copied all of the grids over into the sheet, as well as the um, picture hints here. And so now I need to figure out which one of these goes with which hint. Uh, let's see, we're going to have clue, maybe clue characters, maybe clue weapons. We're going to have shapes, I think. Chess pieces. Mount Rushmore presidents, that one... You would think that would be easy. This grid over here is for Mount Rushmore because we have this double letter here for Roosevelt. And then we have this double letter here for Jefferson. So you see that E is shared between Roosevelt and Jefferson. And so that means that Washington goes down here and is this for the missing item from the set which in this case would be lincoln and doesn't fit there but there were numbers here so this is uh numbers nine five and six so if this is an index the ninth letter in roosevelt is the t the fifth letter in jefferson is the e and the sixth letter in washington is an N. Okay, so that gives me a number. Okay, I'm not completely sure what that number 10 gets us right now, so I'm gonna move on to a different set. So I'm thinking this one might be clue, clue weapons, or, or maybe people? Oh no, maybe this is chess, because then this could be rook. Yeah, I'm changing my answer to this being maybe chess and maybe clue goes over here. Okay, so if this is chess, then king goes here. Knight goes there. Uh, here we have pawn. And which one am I missing other than the bishop? Uh, the queen, of course. Okay, so in this case, the bishop is the missing link. And then what does this index get us? R, E, A? Well, that that's not a number this time. So I wonder what that is. I'll come back to it when I get a few more of these grids filled in. Oh, maybe these are weapons. So is this rope at the bottom? A revolver. I think wrench. Looks like we have candlestick. And then what do we still have? The lead pipe, I think, is the one that's missing. Or maybe just pipe. And the knife. Okay, so what does the indexing get us this time? We get an F, I, V, 
E. Okay, well that's a number. Well, why wasn't this one a number? All right, what sets do we still have left? We have shapes. Something about DNA and books by Roald Dahl or maybe books in the James and the Giant Peach collection. So Roald Dahl obviously has a lot of books. So maybe it's specific characters from James and the Giant Peach. Yeah, in the book he encounters seven magically altered garden bugs. Yeah, okay, so this looks like these are the seven bugs that he encounters in the book. So do we have a set of six things? The shortest one is spider, so I'm thinking spider goes here. And then P blank D E is probably centipede, um, earthworm. And the letters of worm are repeated because we also have well, we have Glowworm and Silkworm, and I'm guessing whichever one we don't use here, I think Glowworm goes here, and I think Silkworm is left out, because here's Ladybug, and what's the other one? Grasshopper. Oh, never mind, Silkworm goes here, and then Grasshopper is the one that's left out. Okay, so do we get a number from this? We get D, C, O, L, U, M. So maybe all the ones on the right are going to give us numbers, whereas all the ones on the left are gibberish? Like, maybe we're supposed to shift these things on the left by the amount given on the right. That's possible. Um, so I'm thinking the shapes, because there's five shapes pictured here, is going to go with this set of four. So, like, cube... Oops. Goes there. I think dodecahedron could go here. Okay, and then we need something else that ends in a hedron, so that's probably the icosahedron. Yeah. And then the one at the top is octahedron. Good, and so the one that we're missing is tetrahedron. Okay, and what do we get when we index this? A, N, D, and... Oh, I see, so we're going to be reading down. Read column. This is going to say read column and S. Read columns five and 10. That's what this is trying to tell us. So columns five and 10. Oh, I remember, I, I'm, I'm silly because I forgot on the original puzzle page, there's one more grid at the bottom here. So this grid is probably where all of our missing answers are going to go. Yeah, all of our missing answers are going to go into this bottom grid here, and then I have to read down columns 5 and 10. So I'm going to recreate this uh, final grid real quick. Okay, so here's the final grid, and uh, here's the answers that we have so far for, that are missing from the other sets. And as a reminder to ourselves, we're looking in columns 5 and 10 when this is all over. Uh, okay, so here's the double S for grasshopper. And the double P. Okay, so we've taken care of grasshopper uh, now we have this shared RA with probably tetrahedron we have an A up top that's probably lead pipe we have an O down here um, Lincoln 
And then we have bishop, um, which doesn't have an end, so I'm guessing it goes up top. Does this spell anything? Bald people? Is the answer... Bald people. <laughs> That's... I, I'm, I'm uh, assuming that is a reference to... Steve Harvey's baldness. Let's check the answer to Family Feud. Bald people. Yes, bald people is correct for Family Feud. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time left. Um, just about, just a little over 10 minutes. But I can maybe start taking a look at the match game and see if anything stands out to me here. Our contestants just don't seem to be quite on the same page. Uh, what are we trying to do here? Is this an anagram? No, not an anagram. These almost sound like they're going to be puns or something, like a zombie's favorite cereal. It does look like between these two columns, one of them always has one larger or smaller number of letters. So, like, for Zombie's favorite cereal, it could be, like, Brain and Bran. Can I do that with anything else? Yeah, so this would be Mean and Man. M-E-A-N for average and Man for male person. Okay, I do not have a lot of time to get some of these ideas into the sheet. But I'm going to get as much in here as I can. Okay, I managed to get all of the questions in here, as well as the enumerations for the answers. I'll also put a column for extra letter. Okay, I have about five minutes. I'm gonna to try to get as many of these in here as I can. So we already found uh, Zombie's favorite cereal is Brain Bran, and the I was the uh, odd letter out there, and Average male was mean and man, so we have an E. Favored citation is um, reference preference. A pointy liar, sharp harp. That's my muscle. Clam claim the correct civil liberties right rights putting evergreens before all else tree furs furs first um okay so i think i might have to start googling synonyms and stuff for some of these other ones uh maybe i can get one or two in it's gonna be kind of tough with so little time. Fairy Malice. Fairy could be Nymph Genie Genie? Malice could be Spite. Spite Sprite. Sprite Lord of a Large Farm Building. Probably Barn. Oh, Baron. Barn Baron. Turpos? Turp. Positions? Uh, I think it's going to be letter positions. Letter positions? Oh, uh, so we need to look in... Oh, good cliffhanger. <laughs> okay, uh, that's all the time that we have for today's video. Hopefully we'll be able to finish up the match game puzzle first thing next video. We are currently four hours into the hunt, and... We have quite a few answers. So after finishing up the match game puzzle next video, I'm probably going to try to take a look at the meta puzzles to see if I can start to figure out where some of our answers are going to go and how those meta puzzles are going to work. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this video series so far. I'm excited to come back to it and try some more puzzles. Until then, have a great day, and as always, happy escaping.